Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys may have seen the title, I am doing a review on the Tres Luce Beauty from Becky G. If you guys don't know who Becky G is, uh, <laughs> yeah, you need to know who she is. I absolutely love her, not just because she's Latina, but I really do enjoy her music. I saw that she was coming out with her own brand and I just really had you know, to pick it up. She's also collaborated with um, ColourPop, I think a few times. Quote me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I think she did collaborate with them. Um, and I was able to get some products from that collaboration as well. Um, but this was like a long time ago. I don't think it's available on ColourPop anymore. And I did purchase these products with my own money. Um, even if I would have gotten this in PR, I would still be 1000% honest with you guys if you do need this collection. Now, I know that a lot of people, like I got some girls in my DMs just like telling me, you know, it's kind of annoying that you know artists celebrities you know are coming out with makeup um, products and honestly I, I can definitely see where that can kind of get annoying where like everyone wants to come out with like lashes because <laughs> I know I am <laughs> uh, with makeup but honestly you guys I really do enjoy that just because you know if we were to just have the typical norm you know regular makeup brands you know like the big brands like Anastasia Too Faced Benefit you know, it, if it was just that, it would get kind of boring. So I personally really do love when um, celebrities are coming out with makeup. And let's be honest, you guys, the beauty community and the cosmetic industry overall has gotten so huge. Um, and so why not? I mean, if she likes makeup, like I love lashes and there's so many lash people already coming out with their brand. But for me, I love makeup and a lash to me personally just really sets the look. Um, yes, some lashes can look the same, um, but you know, if that's your dream, go for it. I personally do not mind when celebrities come out with products just because I love the diversity and I just love you know, how everybody comes out with different stuff. So yeah, that's my two cents <laughs> regarding that. Um, so I, like I said, I didn't feel like I needed everything. So I personally just bought the palette um, and just the two Intenso liners. You get 18 eyeshadows, you have shimmer shadows, and of course you have matte eyeshadows. It also includes a mirror. And um, can we just talk about the packaging? Like it is so, so cool and it's very artistic you can see the nopal in there and it really gives me latina vibes um but i will say that i'm not a fan of the blue um i don't know but maybe that's her favorite color <laughs> i should have done my research a little more about why she picked blue obviously it is different um but i don't know i personally just don't like the blue we have the two intenso liners that i purchased one is um, in the shade tranquila and then the other one is in the shade honest and i really needed another nude pencil because i was running really low on my um what was it nabella 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 Cosmetics, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, I'm running so low, so I really wanted to pick up another new liner and just kind of test it out for you guys as well. I'm gonna go into my Morphe M508 brush. It's this really nice, tiny, precise brush. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I really wanna dig into the shade called Diosa. <laughs> um, this color right here. So I'm gonna take the shade and I'm gonna place it right in the crease. So kind of doing a half cut crease kind of, um, but I just wanna, like this color is the one that just really caught my attention and I'm like, I really wanna go into the shade. What I'm gonna do is just where my natural crease creases, you guys can see it right there. I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher and I'm gonna stamp the eyeshadow in. Woo! Look at that pigment right away. Holy crap. I was not expecting this. I'm gonna move it back and forth and I'm gonna take it down like this. So the reason why I'm going into a small detail brush is just because I wanna place this shadow in a specific area. With absolutely no product, I'm going into my Morphe M222 and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out this color. Remember, with no product, we're just buffing this out. Now we're gonna go back into that same shade called Diosa. 
and same thing just kind of buff it out very lightly we're not in a rush we're not trying to win a race here <laughs> we're just trying to blend so take your time the next shade i'm going to pick up is called amor 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 this shade right here i love how they have spanish names i think that's so cute that she did that i'm gonna go into my morphe 217 and pretty much just pick up some of that shade just a little bit like literally just the tip of your brush and what i'm gonna do is just start to buff this out so that way it's not just that nice magenta shade it's gonna turn it into a nice peachy shade as well and then we'll go back to touch up that pink because we don't want to lose it because that color is absolutely beautiful. Now I'm just going back into that same 217 from MAC and going back into the shade called Diosa. Literally just the tip of our brush and I'm just going to go ahead and reapply it so that way it doesn't get lost. And just look at this, you guys. Look at that blend. I am really excited right now. You guys have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Eden Primer and I'm just going to start to just cut cut i was trying to say carve and cut at the same time <laughs> we're gonna start to cut our crease um, and then we will start to diffuse or uh, apply color towards the outer corner and i think i might go in with some blue on the lower lash line just to really kick it up a notch or i might go in with that green shade we'll see now all i'm doing is going back into that shade called diosa and just applying it towards this outer corner and you guys can see like it's like super pigmented <laughs> there is a lot of kickback in the palette um with the eyeshadow pans but the more i'm building this up like the more it is so beautiful and i'm really loving that it's not getting chalky and that was like the only thing that i was super scared to be honest i was like oh my god ojalá that this isn't chalky and you guys like it is not i mean you guys are seeing this right here right now like look how soft that is i love this color so much i'm really glad i went with this shade and not just like the basic uh eyeshadow colors which we can totally do in another video but i just really wanted to play with color and like look at that i'm going into my b bella ng 353 picking up the shade called amor the one that we used to um blend out the main, the purple shade, <laughs> the second shade. So I'm gonna go in and just pretty much tap it in towards this little corner here. And then I'm just gonna go back into that same 217 for MAC and just pat. So we're not going like this. I love just patting the eyeshadow in. It just places it a lot better and it just blends it out, look at that. And then I do go into the shade called Light, which is a nice bone nude shade. This one right here, same brush. And what we're gonna do is just pretty much apply it towards the inner corner and buff it in and tap it in with the second shade. Taking the Morphe M508 again, you guys, and just picking up more of that shade called Diosa and just gonna place it right here. So that way, once we go in with our lashes, you can still see a little bit of this purple. I'm picking up a little bit of the shade called Fuerte, which is just a matte black eyeshadow. And what I'm gonna do, you guys, is just place it really close to the lash line. Um, so like we're creating a winged liner. Um, and just to really give it some definition because once we go in with lashes, I don't really want this to peek through. I really want some darkness here and then we're just gonna extend it going outwards. All right, guys, so don't mind my face. I'm currently baking. <laughs> I know I look very scary. <laughs> the reason why I'm baking is because I wanna do my lower lash line so that way if any eyeshadow falls onto my cheeks, I can just like brush it away. Um, so I'm gonna go back into that Morphe M508 brush and I'm gonna be picking up the green eyeshadow i just really really want to go in there so bad so it's called happy um so this shade right here like look how beautiful this is i really really want to go in it run it on my lower lash line to really give it that pop of color um so i'm just gonna go ahead and run it down here okay so it's not as bright as i wanted it to be or as i envisioned it to be um, but it still looks really pretty underneath the under eye um, so i'm gonna go back into that shade called diosa and i'm just gonna pick it up and apply it towards this outer corner just because we already have a little bit of pink there on the top and i'm just gonna place this right here so i can blend in with that green shade for my waterline i'm gonna go into the nude obviously because i feel like the brown would just be it just wouldn't look cute <laughs> and i really want to try the nude one really really bad Ooh, that is creamy i was not expecting it to look so creamy 
or to glide on that nice wow all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and just dust this powder off apply a lip color and then just touch up anything that i need to on my skin and then i will end this video on my final thoughts so i'll be right back all right my honeys so that is it for today's eyeshadow tutorial using the becky g's makeup line which is called tres luce and of course using the im palette um, to create this eyeshadow look what do you guys think of the eyeshadow look i am absolutely really obsessed i did notice though here i have to fix it because it looks a little crooked but i'll fix that off camera <laughs> so ignore that but other than that you guys i'm really obsessed with this eyeshadow look i'm really obsessed with the quality the only thing that i'm going to say is the green i just thought it was going to be a little bit more vibrant what i did was I used a setting spray and I got the Morphe um, M508 brush wet and then I went into the eyeshadow and applied it and it does give it a little bit more of a pop. Um, but that's the, the only thing that I would say is that I wish that that green color was really, really more vibrant because it just kind of makes me think like so when we apply it in the crease is it gonna just like wash out um i will definitely keep you guys posted if i decide to go in with that specific eyeshadow in my crease but other than that you guys i'm really obsessed with this pink color um the other shade that we use to you know um, blend out the crease color i'm just really really happy that it's not patchy um and you guys saw the pigment you guys were here and you saw the tutorial i definitely want to play with it a little bit more um so with that said i'm just gonna leave like i always do with all my reviews i always leave it up to you guys if you feel like you need this in your collection if you need this in your life or if you are a huge becky g fan and you love to collect items like this i definitely recommend it i'm really excited to just play with with these six colors here and create something more neutral more wearable also the nude eyeliner which is actually called um tranquila i love it i am so obsessed with this you guys saw how creamy it glided onto my eyelids yes it was creamy creamy when i did the swatches but i was a little skeptical and worried how it would perform in my waterline um of course i don't know if it's gonna last all day just because you know i'm not gonna wear this out throughout the entire day really love this <laughs> so now that I know that this one's pretty creamy, then I definitely know that the brown one is going to be creamy as well. Um, I love a good nude liner, so I'm definitely going to be using that again, and I'm definitely going to be using the palette as well to create more looks for you guys. But let me know what you think about this look. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little notification bell because that will notify you every single time that a new video um, that I upload here on YouTube. That is it for today's video. I love you guys so much. Take care. Cuídense mucho. Besitos. Los quiero, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, guys.